Did you know that there's still one Blockbuster store left in the entire world? It's located in Bend, Oregon, and you can actually spend the night there by booking it on Airbnb. Stay tuned, because I'm going to tell you all about it. My name is Carmen Sinyovi, and today we are launching a brand new series here on our channel. It's no secret that these are challenging times for the travel industry. I found it fascinating to follow how airlines and hotels and cruise lines and destinations are finding creative ways to adapt to the realities of this pandemic. So I thought it would be fun to start this new series in which I'm going to break down some of the biggest news stories from the travel industry and then talk about how they're going to affect travelers like you and me. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss each new episode. Our first story comes out of Singapore. Now, you may associate Singapore with crazy rich Asians, sick rooftop infinity pools, and some of the best street food in the world. But this island city-state is also known to have strict laws and widespread surveillance. Reuters recently reported that Singapore may start using automated drones to make sure that citizens are social distancing properly. The Singapore police is doing a three-and-a-half-month trial, seeing what it would be like to use two pilotless drones developed by an Israeli company to help enforce social distancing measures. According to Aerobotics, the company that makes the drones, the trial will take place over an industrial estate in the west of the city, and it's the first time that automated commercial drones have been approved to fly over a major metropolis. They can pinpoint locations and zoom into areas that might not be visible to police officers on foot or in vehicles. Now, Singapore had originally been upheld as one of the countries that was a model for how to contain the coronavirus effectively. But as time went on, Singapore started seeing mass outbreaks of COVID-19, particularly among the low-income migrant workers who lived in cramped dormitories. In April, the Singapore government sealed off many of these buildings in an attempt to contain the virus amongst the workers. It's now four months later and many dormitories are still under quarantine. Some migrants who have been declared free of the virus are still having their movements restricted. What are your thoughts on governments using drones like this to monitor citizens? Would you feel safe visiting Singapore knowing that there might be drones flying around spying on you? Leave a comment below and let me know. Our next story comes out of Spain's Canary Islands. Perched off the coast of Northwest Africa, this archipelago of islands is a very popular beach destination for European travelers. Unfortunately, like just about every other destination right now, the Canary Islands have been struggling to attract tourists, so they just announced that they will be covering all COVID-related costs for travelers. The regional government recently announced that all Spanish and foreign tourists will receive a travel policy managed by French insurer AXA. It will last one year and will cover costs including healthcare expenses or having to extend a stay due to compulsory compulsory quarantine while on the islands. The tourism industry in Spain was dealt a big blow recently when the UK announced that anyone returning from Spain would have to quarantine, so it's understandable that they've been finding ways to convince travelers that it's safe to come. Now, this is not the first time we've heard of travelers being offered free COVID-19 insurance. Emirates recently became the first airline to provide coverage for medical treatments, hotel quarantines, and even funeral costs if passengers catch the coronavirus while traveling. So this seems to be a trend that's catching on in the travel industry. Industry. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Would you be more likely to fly a particular airline or visit a particular destination if you knew that any COVID-related costs would be covered if you got sick? Leave a comment and let me know. By the way, just want to take a moment to talk about the shirt that I am wearing. Our followers on TikTok love to tease me for overusing the word stunning, especially in our room tour videos. So I thought it would be funny to just totally own it by turning it into a shirt. If you want to order one for yourself, I'll leave the link below. It comes in youth, men's, and women's sizes. And if you're not already following us on TikTok, what are you waiting for? Go find us there. Remember Blockbuster? If you're of a certain age, you're going to remember it as the place to go to rent videos to watch at home. The company went bankrupt back in 2010, but believe it or not, there is still one single Blockbuster store left in the entire world, and it's in Bend, Oregon. Even better, the store is now listed on Airbnb. So if you want to spend the night inside the store for a trip down memory lane, it's an option. When you call dibs on this day, you're booking a night back in the 90s, but this time you won't have to beg your parents to rent the latest horror flick. We'll give you the keys to the entire store, reads the listing. How much will it cost to stay here? The same as it would cost to rent a typical movie back in the day, just four bucks. So what's the catch? Well, two things actually. First, there are only three one-night reservations available, September 18th, 19th, or 20th. And it's limited only to locals. You have to be a resident of Deschutes County, Oregon to book it. If you're one of the lucky few to have this experience, remember, be kind, please rewind. 
One of the big changes we've seen coming out of this pandemic is, of course, the rise in remote working. Most companies jumped on this out of necessity because their workers had to stay home. But some companies have indicated that they're going to make working from home a permanent thing. Twitter, for instance, has told their staff that they can continue working remotely basically forever. And we're starting to see a lot of travel brands using this as a way to market their offerings. The Bellagio and Aria in Las Vegas, they're both owned by MGM, recently launched a program called Viva Las Office. They're encouraging professionals to book a hotel room so that they can combine work and play. The program offers special perks for workers, like extended check-in and check-out hours, and what they call a dedicated executive assistant. According to a report from Insider, this executive assistant will take care of booking all activities and excursions so you can focus on clocking out on time. Maybe it's just me, but isn't that just called a concierge? Well, MGM is not the only hotel brand trying to attract remote workers. The Playa Hotels and Resorts brand just launched their all-inclusive Work and Learn from Paradise package. In addition to free food and drink, the package will also offer complimentary laundry, three personal training sessions a week, and free conversational Spanish classes. This program is currently available at five properties across Mexico, Jamaica, and the Dominican Republic. And it's not just hotels and resorts that are targeting remote workers. Whole countries are opening their doors, hoping to attract long-term visitors. Barbados recently launched the Barbados Welcome Stamp, a 12-month visa open to anyone earning more than $50,000 a year. That's US dollars. Estonia now offers a new digital nomad visa for visitors who can prove that they can do their jobs remotely and earn at least 4,000 US dollars per month. And the former Soviet Republic of Georgia has also launched a similar program. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you're one of those people who's fortunate enough to be able to do their job completely remotely, would you be interested in moving to a different country for a year? How safe would you feel doing that, being that the coronavirus situation is really volatile? Leave a comment, let me know. If you would like some advice on if, how, or when to start traveling again after COVID-19, check out our video. If you'd like to support our channel, consider becoming a Patreon. I'm gonna link that below. And of course, be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Thanks for watching.